right, let's get started. So what I've done first is I've gone ahead and I've divided the deck into two parts, the 77 aspect cards and the seven aspect, uh, seven archon cards. Seven archon cards look like this. They're sort of like uh, any popular um, trading card, game playing card you might see in the prototype design here. We have uh, new designs that will actually be featured on the printed version of the cards. This is the original design deck that I did. So, the goal of the game is to reach Gnosis with each of the seven Archons, and the way you do that is by playing the Gnosis card that matches that Archon on that card. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll need to do is set aside the Aspect cards and shuffle up the Archon cards so that they're nice and random. There we go. Cut it once, cut it twice, cut it three times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Everything is on screen, yes? So let's go ahead and get this lined up. Just be a little OCD about it, there we go. Now we're going to draw four cards. As you can see, I've got an 11 in my hand and it's black. That is the gnosis of black holes for Thorn. Thorn's Wisdom is the name of this card. And uh, hopefully when we flip over one of these Archon cards using this card, uh, it'll be black and will do well. So I'm going to say Thorn is this one. Aha, look at that, I was right. So, since I was right, the 11 card gets tucked underneath and play continues. So we'll pick up our cards and draw a new card. All right, now we have a nine, two threes, and a one. Nothing adds up to 11, so there's nothing we can really do, so we're forced to discard. I'm going to go ahead and discard this nine because in the game of Gnosis, these lower cards are more comboable to get to 11. See, you don't just play with 11s. You can also, if I had an eight, eight plus three is 11, I could flip, off, flip over another card using this plus an eight, but I don't have an eight yet. Here's an eight. You can see it's got some scribbling on it probably. That eight has some scribbling on it because there was a misprint in my prototype deck and this is actually a white eight. But now we have a white eight and a white three. So I'm gonna sit these other two cards down and hopefully we can find Oriel. Oriel is the white Archon. And I'm gonna say Oriel is here. I might not be right and I wasn't. So both of these white cards go to the discard pile because in order for any of them to count towards Gnosis with your chosen Archon, they have to be the same color. So as you can see in my hand, I have a one card. I could have, if I can find a combo that plays with this one card, the one card would stay on top of Orin and the blue card would go to the discard because it's not the same color. It's, it's pretty simple. It just takes a few tries before you get used to it. So right now I've got five and three, that's eight. Or, or five plus two, that's seven, plus three is eight, uh, uh, 10. So that doesn't work. I'm good at math, I promise. So we're going to discard the one that's orange. And the reason I discarded that is because I don't want to wait for a 10. That's the only thing you can really combo with of any worth. So now I have a nine and a one and a three. Uh, and a five. None of these combo, so I'm going to get rid of the nine. And then we just keep going. Uh, Thorn already has 11 on him, so this two is essentially useless. I've achieved the best possible type of Gnosis with Orin that I can with that 11. So I think I'm going to go ahead and discard the two. 
Now we've drawn another two. Now we have 11. Five plus five, three plus two, and plus one is 11. Hopefully, because two of these cards are blue and one of them is green, I'll find Calantha or Cygnus. Calantha is blue, Cygnus is green. I apologize for the sniffles. It's that time of year. So right here, I'm gonna set this card down. This is just a play, uh, part of my hand. You notice I laid all three cards on top of Cygnus. Well, only the green five matches his color. He is green. So I'm going to take these other two cards and put them in discard because they do not lead to Gnosis with Cygnus. But now we're on the path to Gnosis with Cygnus with that five. Now we just need something that's green that combos up to a value of six or adds up to a value of six. Look at this awesome draw I just got. I just got two 11s, one yellow. Uh, wow, I don't know colors today. One blue and one white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play the blue one in hopes that I find Calantha when I play it. I'm gonna say Calantha is right here. No, so. This blue 11 that I would have played there goes to the discard. And then I have to see if I can find Oriel. Oriel is here. Let's see if she's here. Anybody home? Yes! So, because I have the 11, that's instant gnosis with Oriel. I tuck that card underneath, draw two cards to replenish my hand, and keep going. Okay, so let's take a look at something. I just drew an 11. This 11 right here can play on Cygnus's card right here, uh, but there's a five in the way. 11 plus five is 16, so that's way too many, so we can't play it. So in order for us to play this 11 on top of Cygnus to achieve Gnosis with them, first we have to clear the path. So we will need something that combos with this five of any color to add up to 11. So a six would be nice, a four and a two would be nice. And it doesn't matter what color they are because those are going to count as points that we get at the end of the game. So I'm gonna hold on to this 11. And I think I'm gonna get rid of the white one because I have perfect gnosis with Oriel already. Draw another card. Eight and four is 12, that's too much. Eight and five is 13, that's too much. And I'm going to hold on to the eight because I have Orin here and Xanthi's one of these two. She's seven, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And Kalantha's the other when she's four. So now I have a choice to make. Which one do I get rid of? I'm thinking I get rid of, and I don't want to, but this is where you have to make choices that are hard. I'm gonna get rid of that orange eight. Now we've got a purple nine, but nothing to play it with, so I'm gonna discard that. We've got a six, and it is orange. It'll play on Orin, but I kinda need that six to clear off this Cygnus card, so I'm going to make the choice. Do this. That combos to 11. I'm gonna turn these face down in the bottom right. This is my score pile. If I win at the end of the game, I get to add these points to my score, and that creates my total score for the game when I add it up with all the played cards here. All right, now we have two and seven is nine, nine and four is 13, that's too many. But uh, I forgot <laughs> we could have played that 11 on Cygnus. So let's go ahead and get Cygnus Gnosis. Now we have Gnosis with Cygnus as well. Perfect Gnosis. Seven and four is 11. We could play this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that on Aria because she is purple, and that lets the seven stick to Aria uh, on the path toward Gnosis. And we still have nine right here that we can add up. Let's see, and one. So now we've got 10. We just need one more card and five. So six and two is eight. Five and one is six. Six and two is eight. Yeah, I've got nothing that adds up to 11 here. So I'm gonna have to discard something. I think I'm going to discard the orange tube. 
Seven and four is 11. But that four plays right here, which gives me a type of Gnosis with Aria. So I'm going to go ahead and pull Aria's card on top of these two cards. I say I'm going to pull Aria's card on top of these two cards. There we go. <laughs> that was difficult. Draw to replenish my hand. And now we've got seven and four that could reveal Xanthi. And these two numbers would stick to her. So I'm going to say Xanthi's right here and flip this card over. I was wrong, it's Kalantha, so all three of these cards go to the discard. We draw back up to four cards in our hand. I've got this 11, I know where Xanthi is now, so I'm going to flip Xanthi over and this 11 goes underneath her card. Now I've achieved perfect Gnosis with Xanthi. I've got Kalantha and Orin left to take care of. That means I'm primarily looking for orange and blue cards. Well, right now, I just have to decide what to discard. So I'm gonna discard this, no, not the five. I'm gonna discard this black 10 uh, because I've already captured orange. I'm gonna discard this five. Yes. And then I'm going to draw another card. I'm gonna keep the eight because it's blue and it's helpful, but I have nothing to combo it to attack Kalantha with or, or achieve or approach Gnosis with Kalantha with. So I'm going to discard the green four because I do not need it. I've got a seven. If I'd held on to that four, I could have comboed that to uh, get the seven on the path to Gnosis with uh, Kalantha, but I, I didn't keep it. So we're gonna get rid of the yellow five and continue. Eight plus three is 11. So I'm just gonna keep that in mind for a second. I could get the eight stuck on the path to uh, Gnosis with Kalantha by playing this plus these two cards. These two go to the discard, and then I draw three cards. Now, as you can see, I've got a three. Three plus eight is 11. I'm gonna save this three in case I need to clear off this card right here. And I'm going to go ahead and discard the 10 because I've already achieved a type of Gnosis with Aria. Now I've got another green 10. I'm going to discard it because I've achieved perfect Gnosis with Cygnus. Now I've got a, a three. It's black and I don't need it because I've already got perfect Gnosis with Thorn. Okay, here's one I kind of need. It's a five and it's orange for Orin, and he has no cards on him. So now I also need to keep track of this, so I'm going to keep this card in my hand. That adds up to eight. Eight plus two is 10, so that doesn't help. Uh, so we're gonna get rid of the green two. We're gonna get rid of the white one. And you keep going like this. Now, you might be wondering, well, Greg, like all of the cards that you need are going to come up eventually. Yes, but have I already played the cards in this pile? I don't know. So that's part of the, the challenge of the game. And the other challenge is to get all seven Gnosis with all seven Archons before you run out of cards in this discard pile, or this draw pile. If you do not achieve Gnosis with all seven Archons before you draw the last card, you lose. Plain and simple, and you have to start over again. So do, do keep that in mind as we approach the middle point of the game where it becomes about uh, achieving Gnosis with the rest of the Archons. I don't need this green seven. Now, uh, we have seven plus three plus one. But the problem with that is that the eight is blocking, so we can't actually do anything with it. But what we can do is seven plus three plus one here just to get these cards out of our hand. Well, that doesn't help us either, so 
In terms of my thinking, I'm getting rid of the one. We've got a 10 that's for Calantha. I'm going to get rid of it because it's too high for me. I think we're going to go ahead and clear this 8 off. I do. 5 plus 4. 1 and 4. 9, 9 and 7. It's too much. I'm really trying to get something on that Warren card, but man, I'm not having the luck of the draw, am I? So we'll discard that, pick this up. Now I've got a 10. Man, if only I hadn't just discarded that one. Eight and three is a let. The eight doesn't help. This is actually Thorn's eight and it doesn't help. There we have the opportunity to do one thing I was talking about. So as you can see, we've already achieved Gnosis with Aria. We can achieve perfect Gnosis and get points towards our score at the end of the game by taking these two cards and swapping them for the 11. So we're gonna put them face down in our score pile and then put the 11 underneath Aria. And now Aria we've achieved perfect Gnosis with. So we can draw another card. Here we go. We have eight plus three. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and clear off Calantha's card, and those become points. Now, Calantha has nothing on her. I have a seven and a one to make an eight. Now all I need is a three to get these cards on top of her. And I do believe the blue three is still in play in the deck. I'm not sure, but for now, actually, what I'm gonna do is get that five finally stuck to Orin like this. See, five plus five is 10 plus one. There. Now I have this seven, and I believe the four is still in the deck. So that's what we're looking for. The green nine doesn't help us, so we'll discard. There's a four, seven and four is 11. We don't need this four because it doesn't count towards Gnosis with Calantha. So now seven is on Calantha. We're, we're, we've got a seven on the path to Gnosis with Calantha. Now, as you can see, I've got all cards I don't need. All of these characters have perfect Gnosis, so I could discard any one of these. Well, I'm just gonna get rid of the nine first. I drew another nine in its place. Um, I'm going to keep one of the sixes, obviously, because I have this five here that I might need to clear off at some point. So I'm going to get rid of the white nine. So close to what I need, but not quite. So there's a Calantha five. We're going to keep that, and we're going to keep the white six, and we'll get rid of the purple six. And this is just how you play the game. Um, there's, there's not a lot to the actual gameplay once you get cruising. Uh, what you got to watch out for is running out of cards. As you can see, I'm getting kind of low on the deck. Uh, there's about 15 cards left, it looks like. Um, I'm going to keep the orange four and get rid of the white four, since the orange four can help me with orange if I get another, a card that it combos with. Now I've got another six. I'm going to get rid of the white six. It doesn't matter which six I hold on to, but I feel like I should hold on to one of them. We'll get rid of the 10, three, I'm trying to play until I win or lose here. So uh, just bear with me a few more minutes. Now we've got a two that we don't need. And, and it becomes a, a, a patience at this point, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta keep making your choices on which cards to hold and which cards to throw away. And hopefully it serves you. So here's a black four. Possibly one of my last chances to clear off and not lose the orange four that I need for, for orange. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this six. I think. No, I'm going to get rid of the black four. And the black six. Okay, now we've got... 
seven and four, which add up to 11. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm going to do this to buy points. It's like acknowledging that you've been going down the wrong path for some time and deciding to invest in changing paths for yourself. That's what just happened there. Now we're gonna play these two. Now we have Gnosis with Orin. Now we're only waiting on Gnosis with Calantha. And we have one blue card in our hand and three cards to draw. And we are in trouble right now. We need four to clear off this card and then something that adds up to 11 to achieve Gnosis. So uh, hopefully the, the blue four is still out there. I'm gonna get rid of this eight. It doesn't help me. Now we found Orin's wisdom card. So we're going to buy some points. Now we've achieved perfect gnosis with Orin as well. So the only person we haven't achieved perfect gnosis with is Calantha. So this is shaping up to be a pretty good game if I win. <laughs> now we've got a nine, nine and two is 11. We don't need that. So we get rid of the nine. Eight, don't need it. Six, okay, there's our 11 that we need. Now we just need a way to add up to four. So I'm gonna get rid of this black seven and hope. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, we're down to two cards in the draw pile. We've got 11 for Kalantha, but no way to get the seven off. So see, this is where the strategic gameplay comes in. I could win or lose at this point, and I don't know. I don't know. So first I gotta choose a discard. Um, I guess we'll get rid of the two. Oh man, I hope that's the right choice. And get rid of the five. Last card. Oh no! No, no, no! We lose. So the reason we lose is because we ran out of cards in the draw pile. All of the cards from the draw pile are now over here. And we've got... Um, just these cards uh, left in our hand. We do have 11 for Kalantha, but like I said, it's blocked by this seven. I should have never put the seven down, but I did. So, points, what did we do? Well, we did 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 50, 700, 750, 800, 850, 900. Then each of these are 10 points. 910, 920, 930, 940, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1000. So we hit 1000 with our score, but we didn't win. So we played pretty well. And now we just clean up and we can play again sometime. And it's a good way to kickstart your brain in the mornings, uh, shut off the thinking about what's coming in the day, shut off the thinking about what you did yesterday, what you did right, what you did wrong, and just focus on strategy and, and attaining enlightenment. I, I like that vibe that this game gives me because I have ADHD and I'm always thinking, always thinking, and this employs just enough math and just enough strategy to where I'm so engaged with the cards I'm not thinking about all the other things going on in my life and that's why I decided to call this game Gnosis in addition to the fact that the 11 card is called Gnosis I thought it was fitting because it allows you to achieve uh, a presence in the now um, it, at least it allows me to achieve that so I hope it helps you too anyways this has been a long video I'm gonna go ahead and sign off thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one